All right, YouTube, I'm going to start showing those cord issues I've been talking about. Um, please hit that thumbs up button, and uh, if you like the video, share, subscribe, and uh, hopefully leave some comments. Uh, what you're looking at here started my problems um, just over three years ago. And you can see that please call Phil Tremblay, North Collins Building Inspector. There's his number. Feel free to call him. And, uh... Look at the stationary use. He ripped this off. Unbelievable. That was the first one. Note left on my door. And then... These are passed off as uh, summonses, most of them. Doesn't say summons anywhere on it though, however. And I got them all together by each court, but then uh, in order, so they're not all chronological order. But I got uh, 54, um, Appearance notices, if you will, if you want to call it that. That's 54 hearings in three years, plus uh, six hearings that uh, they drug me in chains to. So that's 60 hearings from uh, three different courts. North Collins, the most. An instigator of uh, most of this stuff. And uh, I could go on and on about it. that's a lot of hearings. So the ones that weren't um, summonses, appearance notices are. Uh, Orders for fingerprinting. There's that one uh, booking arrest. I slipped a different court date in there. I had I don't know, five or six court dates last May. And, uh, let's see, other fingerprinting orders. Notice of violation. Demands for money, threats of imprisonment. Notice none of these are signed either. It's the same thing. Department of Health. They never came. Talking about an inspection. Building department. I don't know why that um, gets blurry going in and out. If anyone's got any suggestions. I'm just getting used to doing this. So, yeah, there's a lot more uh, papers I have from them. But this is all the uh, demands for performance. Under threat of kidnapping. Take a look at one of these. Show you a couple of things I noticed right off the bat on these. So I'm getting too in depth. Oops. Let's grab the North Counts. There we go. Operating out of a P.O. box. 
Is that where they want me to show up to? And uh, just a case number from uh, all they have is uh, the officer ticket number for the ones that uh, that's the vehicle and traffic. The other ones are felonies and misdemeanors. But uh, all of a sudden it's a charge. So uh, the policy enforcer makes a complaint. He's the witness, and then he uh, converts the complaint into a charge? I don't think so. Date and time. It doesn't say that you're hereby directed or you're summoned, you're subpoenaed, any of that. Look at the wording. Please be advised that the above captioned matter scheduled for action on the date and time listed above but it doesn't say the place does it in the PO box uh, scheduled for action okay well, what's that got to do with me very truly yours nobody court clerk that's something and that's pretty consistent how they all are. This is a little bit different of the style that the other court uses, but only uh when they really want to be taken seriously. I don't know, they switch it up, they gotta have an, uh, another level to go to. This one says notice to appear on it. And then it oh yeah, there's threats on it too, I think. Place our signature. There's none. Jury trial. I demanded a trial by jury in the common law court. That's all you jury trial. Anyone's had more hearings than that in three years? I'd like to hear about it. Four false arrests. See you in the comments section. Peace.